Hello, I'm Giovanni Pino and welcome to my first tutorial of how to do double exposure in After Effects. First, we're going to start by importing the files. Usually to get the double exposure effect you only need the two clips that you want to blend together. But I'm adding two extra to give it like a prettier look at the end. Now what we're gonna need is to create a new composition. I'm gonna call the composition main, make sure that it has all the presets that I want, which is like full HD, how many frames per second, I, like, I want it to be 24, and to last only five seconds. We click OK. Now we drag the clip of the subject. I like this clip, but I don't want it to start from off screen. I want her to be already in sight. So what I'm gonna do is grab the clip and drag it. I'm gonna use it from over here. This clip already lasts like, I don't know, like one minute or something. So I can do this. Now that she's in, she's in frame, I'm gonna drag the second clip that we're gonna need for the double exposure. She's, I'm gonna use a city. You can use nature, you can use a, a close up, whatever you want. Well, we are not going to be messing with this clip for now. So what we're going to do is we're going to press here so to keep it hidden. And we're going to create a, a new solid to replace the background. We're going to use a white color. We're going to name it BG for like background. We're going to drag it to the bottom. And the clip of the subject, we're gonna pre-compose this. We pre-compose it by pressing Ctrl Shift C. Now, with this, I'm gonna call it a lady. We'll make sure to press here. It's not necessary because we haven't done any effect in, in, the, in the clip. But now that it's pre-composed, we double-click it. And sorry, we have close this part and what we're gonna do is first we want to mask the clip we're gonna mask her because if you see the background let me get it closer it's not even the lid it has like different colors you can see that this one is like lighter and these corners are like darker it's like a vignette on the background plus you have this stain so to not have to, to deal with that and make it harder to do the, the chroma key or removing the background, what we're going to do first is, let me zoom out a little bit, we're going to mask it. We're going to press the clip that we're working on, then press the pen tool and start masking around it. Done. Now. We're gonna look for the key light effect. If you don't have, if you don't have this window open here. You can go to Windows, look for like effects and preset. You click it, and it's gonna appear here. We're gonna press the the eye drop. We click it, and we're gonna pick the color of the background. It's not gonna remove it completely, but we have to like tweak. A little bit from here so I'm gonna yeah the screen game is gonna make it a little bit better the screen balance I think that's all right and after that we're gonna play with screen mat and with this we're gonna get the clip black a little bit higher until we remove those those little traces of the background. And the clip white, so we play with it. Yeah, that's the problem that if you go too low. Eh, I don't think it's necessary. Now, you have the background. Still, you can trace a little bit of the, of the color that was on the background before. But what we're gonna do now is we're gonna add tint 
the tint effect, the color correction tint. We tap it here, we drag it, and we're gonna make it black and white. Here it's gonna, she's gonna appear here, black and white, and you cannot find any trace of the background. You can also like keep it with the color if you want it. You don't have, you don't have to add it if you don't want to. Because also with the black and white, sorry, with the black background, you won't be able to, to tell of the other, of the previous background, you know. So, but I want to keep it black and white. So I'm gonna put it back again. Now, with the Mos Moscow clip, we're gonna show it again. And we're gonna pre-compose it too. So we press Ctrl, Shift, C. I'm gonna name it City Map. And we open this pre-composition. Here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna add another color correction called Colorama. And yeah, it's gonna make it super trippy. But what we're gonna do is press here in Output Cycle, press in Ramp Gray, and it's gonna turn it black and white. But what the, this thing does is like, you can see the dynamic range from black to white, but we can make that dynamic range to be like a little bit shorter or to crank it a little bit so we create here a spot of the for the black you see we can like create the, the saturation between them oops there and for the white we're gonna do the same i gonna keep it super white so yeah and I think I like it like that Now we go to the main uh, composition, I'm gonna make it fit. And it looks maybe too strong, but now that we're gonna blend it, for blend it, here you have like the blending modes. If you cannot see it, you have to press here in the toggle switch, and it's gonna appear. And you press here, and you put screen mode. And now you can see it. Oh, I don't, I don't like that she looks too short, so what I'm gonna do is increase it. her scale. You press S for scale. And I'm gonna drag her up a little bit. Maybe it's too up. Maybe it's too big. And... Now you already have like the double exposure. I'm gonna change the city map too. If we scale it and we move the position a little bit to play with. Now, to not make it like look too simple, what we're gonna do is to add two clips in it. Those have two effects. One is this dust particle. We're gonna put it on top, and we're gonna blend it with add. So it's gonna give like this knowing effect. Uh, we're gonna add the lens flare, and we're gonna do the same. You're gonna be able to see it, but if we blend it with add, now it's gonna be like this lens flare is gonna appear. In, you see on top of the clip. I think it looks better. I think it looks good. That's how we achieve the double exposure. But now, because we have it in black and white, we can play with coloring it in a different way. For coloring it, I usually it depends where you come from. Like you, people who use Photoshop may use different method, but I like to use uh, the the Lumetri color. But for that, what we need first is to create a new adjustment layer. Gonna look here to the metric color. I'm gonna go to the basic corrections. Here I'm gonna play with the temperature to make it like warmer. And with the tint, let's make it a little bit pinkish. Yeah. I'm gonna need to play with exposure or anything like that. Sorry. 
and the contrast. We can play with the contrast. We're gonna make it look good. The saturation. So yeah, and we're gonna play with the curves too. The curves, uh, how you press and modify, is gonna modify most of the of the color of the image. You press down here, it's gonna be the shadows. Here are the midtones, I hear the, the, the highlights. So let's start modifying the shadows. I think it's too dark. Let's see if we crank the yeah, the midtones. Gonna make it look more normal. I think that's good. And this is how you do a double exposure effect. If this video was helpful, please give a thumbs up. Consider subscribing because I'm gonna continue uploading videos and tutorials. So, yeah. Hopefully, I see you again. Bye.